Welcome to the Daily Truth Report. I'm your host, Noah, and our guest today needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one. It's, it's Mark Taylor. Uh, Mark, we're, we're so happy to have you here. Uh, for those of you that don't know Mark, Mark is a retired Orlando-based firefighter who became known as the Firefighter Trump Prophet uh, back in 2011 while he was watching a TV interview with Donald Trump speaking. He heard God tell him, you're hearing the voice of a president. Mark wrote down what he heard, and that became the Commander-in-Chief Prophecy, published on April 28, 2011. Folks, that was 2011, four years before Donald Trump even announced he was running for president. Since then, Mark's been all over YouTube speaking uh, new revelations that he was hearing from God. And ever since, uh, even as others were laughing at Donald Trump, Mark held firm saying he would win in 2016. He's the author of the Trump Prophecies book, which you can find on Amazon. That book was then turned into a movie in 2018 called The Trump Prophecy. Mark is the creator of the SORD, that stands for the Special Operations Recovery Drag. Uh, his website is swordrescue.com. And I am incredibly excited to have him here today with us. Mark, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm excited to be here, man. It's an honor to be on your show for the first time. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's, it's, it's been great. I, I started this channel because I wanted to talk to people like you and uh, you were at the very top of the list. So it's, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you. Uh, Mark, timing is, is uh, incredible right now. So many things going on. Um, the, the, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, you've been all over YouTube. You had a YouTube channel and had. you were part of <laughs> had. You were part of the purge last week. How many accounts yep. went down? I think it was 37. I, that, that may have gone up since then, but that one night, I think 37 accounts, including mine, got taken away. I had close to about 110,000 subscribers. Yeah. which is hard to get on YouTube. You know, as well as I do, it's hard to get on YouTube because they're censoring the fire out of you. There are not a lot of people that have that. And uh, Mark, you were always a favorite of mine and many other people. Now you can still catch Mark on other channels. You can catch him here, obviously. Uh, Mark, your, your channel was taken down. I went to it. Mm. Uh, you can still go to it. There's a placeholder. It says taken down uh, because of harassment, bullying, or threatening. Uh, I, I guess that would be of the deep state. Is that, is that right? Pretty much. I guess I'm, I'm bullying and threatening the deep state somehow. I, I've, I've made somebody angry. That's for sure. Well, I, I think you can take that as a badge of honor. Uh, Mark, where can people find you if they want to find you online? You don't have a replacement channel. Where, where should they go yeah. look for you? Uh, they can follow me on Twitter at Patton, like General Patton, uh, 6966, and that's not the mark of the beast. That, that was my <laughs> employee number at the fire department. People say that, and a uh, little story behind that. You know, I, I never understood why the Lord gave me that number. It's, it's, it's like when you go in the military, they issue a number. You, they can't, you can't ask for another one if you don't like it, you know what I mean? And so, uh, I said, Lord, what does it deal with this number, 6966? I went 20 years not even really knowing, you know? It wasn't until a couple of years ago the Lord revealed it to me, and he says, Mark, he says, notice that there's a nine that separates the sixes. And he says, nine's the number of judgment. And he says, I've called you to prophesy judgment against the systems, 666. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what that always stood for. So Oh, that's awesome. You know, that's funny you say that because I, I looked at that before and I thought, well, that's kind of an odd number to have. I knew yeah. there had to be a story behind it. So yeah, there's a story behind it. it. Yeah. And so I get people all the time, oh, you know, symbolism will be their downfall and 6966, <laughs> you know, you're the mark of the beast. It's like, no, folks, that was issued to me. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> But uh, they can find me on Twitter at Patton6966 and the same thing on Parlor right now uh, if something happens to my Twitter account. Uh, you know, the YouTube thing, uh, you know, did it hurt? Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you put a lot of work into getting some subscribers and stuff like that. But, you know, we just we, we fight on, you know what I mean? We're, nothing's going to uh, stop what's coming. Uh, nothing, no, no amount of censorship is going to stop what's coming right now. Um, yeah. But they can, uh, I'm, I'm on Facebook. I don't really do Facebook too much, you know, honestly. It's mostly Twitter. And, uh, you know, the parlor thing, they can follow me there as well. And if anyone's messaging you saying they're Mark Taylor asking for money, yeah. it's not Mark. No, it's not me because I don't take donations. I mean, look, I've had some loving people track me down and give me some donations. God bless them. I appreciate it. But I don't even have a donations tab on my website. So if someone's asking you for donations, messaging you, it is not me because I only talk to like five people on Messenger <laughs> at all. Well, Mark, um, let's jump right in. I think the biggest question, we are recording this on Wednesday, October 21st. The election is less than two weeks away. We are 13 days away from the election. The biggest question on everybody's mind is whether Trump is going to win a second term. Is right. the Senate going to stay red? Is the House going to turn red? 
Right. Mark, you were adamant. I mean, in 2016, you had heard from God that Trump was going to win. You were out with it way in advance. Tell us how you're feeling about this. Have you heard uh, any special words on this? And how do you see it playing out in two weeks? You know, how it exactly plays out, that part I don't know. I just know he's going to get in for a second term, beyond the shadow of a doubt. There's just there's, there's no stopping the strain right now at this point. I mean, we're seeing what's happening with Biden right now. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, Giuliani was dropping Moabs this morning. Uh, you got Steve Bannon coming out doing the same thing. Uh, it's They're going to be lucky if this guy even shows up to the debates, uh, you know, Thursday night. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. You know what I mean? Um, does he stay in the race or does he bow out? Do they indict him before the race, uh, before November 3rd? I have no clue. Uh, all I know is, is, is the election is pretty much over with in the spirit, but we have to follow through and continue to vote in the natural because that's, that's our job is to go out and vote, vote, vote like your life depends on it because it does. This is one of the most important elections of our lifetime. We thought 2016 was, was, uh, important. It was. But this one's even more important because there's so much at stake right now, guys, uh, you know, because the, the, the deep state, I, I use this analogy because I'm, I'm Florida Southern boy, you know, you catch a gator, he does a death roll. He knows he's caught, but he's going to do a death roll. And a lot of times that death roll is when it's the most dangerous. The deep state has been caught, but they're doing their death roll right now at this point. And so it can still be dangerous. Could we have some false flags? Possibly. If you see something, say something. You know, um, I'm a big Second Amendment guy. If you if you carry, make sure you're carrying. You know, you protect you and your family. And uh, but I mean, uh, there's this this is going to be a battle. It's, it's not going to be without its battles. So we just need to be prepared. Mark, compare it to 2016 for me. You heard mm -hmm. from God Trump was going to win in 2016. You were adamant right. about it, right? Do you have the same level of confidence for 2020, more or less? How how do yep. you put them together? I, I have the same level of confidence that he's going to win in 2020. Awesome. Does, let me ask you this. Does California turn red? You know, I'm not so sure California didn't turn red in 2016, brother. Honestly, mm -hmm. I, was, I was this close from prophesying it was going to go red in 2016. And here's the thing that people have to understand uh, is, is that in 20, the voter electoral fraud was at an all time high in 2016, and we still won the 2016 election. Now, 2018 comes around. And I had said, well, it's going to be a red tsunami uh, in, 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 uh, in 2018 in the midterms. And I got hammered for that one because, oh, we didn't win the House. It wasn't a red tsunami. And it was like, oh, my gosh, people, we picked up six governorships. You know, uh, we, we picked up all kinds of stuff. We've got the Senate, which was the key to hold the Senate. And because I believe that there was a part of this that was allowed to happen in the House with the electoral voter fraud and allow people to get in place because, you know, it, it's kind of like, he says, uh, get around the <laughs> algorithms here, that, uh, you know, uh, look, that people have to live stuff out. If you tell someone something, they may believe you. But when you have to experience it for yourself, like this whole COVID thing we've had to do, people are never going to forget this. This generation is not going to forget this at this point. And so that's when they're going to rise up and they're going to do something. So uh, I think that the House was allowed to win so that this plan could play out so that people could understand and live through it and see just how bad the Democrats truly are, how demonic these people truly are. And we're seeing that play out. We've been seeing it play out for years now, but now people are waking up to this fact right now. This is the great awakening. Uh, that people, some people call it, you know, I, it, but you know, not only is it the great awakening it's the great separating. And I can go into that in a minute, but mm -hmm. the point being is, is that, uh, they thought, well, you know, because we didn't get the house, it wasn't a red tsunami. It, it was a huge win for Trump on, in, in the midterms, huge. But I think because of the voter electoral fraud had not been dealt with, certain things have been allowed, including California. And if we had control, if we, I don't know if we have complete control of the electoral voter fraud right now at this point still. If we do, that's great. I don't know. But if we did, the Lord told me, he says, you would not have as many blue states and blue zones as you think you would if the voter electoral fraud was taken care of. So that tells me that we probably had a red tsunami in 2018, but because of the voter electoral fraud, it was, it, it just didn't, you know what I mean? It didn't play out the mm -hmm. way people perceived it in their mind to play out. Um, so does Trump run all 50 States this time? I don't know. I think it's going to be a huge, huge win. That's all I know. And we're going to have, it's going to have to be a huge margin to overcome the voter fraud again, the mail-in ballots and this, that, and the other. <laughs> We could be looking at a situation where the media 
and big tech are doing everything they can to cover for Joe Biden. But right. if, if he gets knocked out or pulled out or, right. or something else happens in the next 13 days, we could have Trump running unopposed. We could have him running unopposed because I, I, you know, I've been told that they can't, it's illegal to put someone in at the last minute like this because people have already started voting. Now I think they can come in and put a right in, you know what I mean? They can write someone mm-hmm. in, but I don't know how they could change that at this point. And I wouldn't be surprised. I, don't be surprised that if this guy backs out, which he could do, uh, if their trouble doesn't start early because of that. Mark, let's have a little fun with this. What I, I, I've, I've seen a few messages from you, and I've, I've heard a few comments from you about a Trump third term. Obviously, that sounds crazy on its face. Right. But but is there a roadmap for it? You know, I don't know, honestly. Uh, I, I go back to the Act of 1871. There's been a lot of talk about the Act of 1871, uh, the corporation. You know, and people, and I'm not going to go into all that because we I know we don't have time. We only got an hour here. People can research that on their own. The Act of 1871, when uh, you know DC became a corporation, you know when when people have to understand that when we put someone in office, or I should say they put someone in office, you know we say, well, you work for us. Well, honestly, they don't. They work for the corporation, and mm-hmm. that's why they can go up there and they can get away with this. They get away with the things that they do. And I don't know if Trump has taken the corporation down or not. Now, I, I will say this. In his Michigan rally, he did say, and it kind of went right over some people's heads. He said, there is something so big coming. And he said, nobody knows what it is. I've already signed it. It's already a done deal. And it goes into effect January 1. So you better hope I get reelected. Now, what mm-hmm. is that? There's a lot of guesses to what that could be. Could it be? I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there for people to chew on. And I said, could it be the fact that maybe he's taking the corporation down? And because he's taken the corporation down, he's no longer the CEO. So we've had CEOs of the corporation. We've, we haven't had a president since 1871, actually. So if he's taken the corporation down, he's no longer the CEO. So now he can legally, under the organic constitution, because there's two constitutions, the United States of America, which is the one we're under now. If he takes the corporation down, we go back to the organic constitution, the United States for America. It changes mm-hmm. one word, one word. And so do we go back to the organic constitution, in which case now he becomes the president of the United States for America, in which case he gets two terms. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not prophesying that. I'm just, I'm just bringing that up for people for discussion. Well, and I, I know President Trump likes to joke around, but he has referred to a third mm-hmm. term numerous times. Yep. yep. And there's always more to what that man says. It's way deeper to what he says than, than most people realize. I mean, he's 10 steps ahead, man. He is. He plans out every comment. It yep. looks like it's off the cuff, but it is not. Yep. He is very strategic. Yep, absolutely. So I don't know. And uh, so we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, who knows what this big thing is January 1? I'm not saying that's what that is, but there's a possibility, you know. And, and whatever it is, it, that goes into effect no matter what. He is president until January 21st. That's right. That's right. There's no stopping it. Now, some people have said, well, could it be Nasara, Jasara? I don't know. I truly do not know. Is it all interconnected? It could be all interconnected because if he takes the corporation down, does it take the Fed down? Uh, you know, does, does it implement Nasara? I have no clue. I just, that's mm-hmm. above my pay grade. <laughs> Mark, let's let's switch gears. Uh, you are are famous for being on record that Obama will indeed be ripped and stripped of the presidency. That yep. was, I think, an exact quote from one of your prophecies. 2015. Tell us, tell us about that for the people that haven't heard that before. Um, tell us about that prophecy and then and then what that might mean. Because yeah. I, Mark, I, I got a lot of questions from people when I. When I when I put out that I was interviewing you, the, the most common question that came in was was what consequences are we ever going to see for these people, for Obama, for Hillary, for oh, trust for me. the Biden crime family? <laughs> yeah, trust me. It, is it coming? It, it's coming. It's coming. It's not coming. It's already here. It's already here. And, uh, October 13th, 2015, I wrote, do not be deceived. Get in the fight. And I'll just give you one little paragraph of this. This is the spirit of God says the Clintons, the go ahead. What's that? Yeah, I was going to say, can read the whole thing or read a big paragraph of it, please. Okay. All right. So uh, the spirit of God says the Clintons, the Clintons, your time has come to an end for you're both being omitted for the crimes you have committed. 
Hillary is, is no great secret and never will be her downfall, but bills will be exposed one after the other and it will be a windfall. For this time, you will not escape the prosecution and restitution for the rape and prostitution. You thought no one saw, but I, Lord, see it all, and now this will be uh, your downfall. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the Spirit of God says, beware, beware. The enemy roams about seeking whom he can devour, and the sitting president is doing that just in, in this hour. He is full of lies and deceit and is very hateful. He spreads division and corruption with every mouthful. Beware when he says, look over here what the right hand is doing. To divert your attention from what the left hand is doing is his intention. This is a setup from his president, uh, from this president and his minions from the hate, the division, and Hillary Clinton. Why can no one see this? For the signs are clear to see that this president and his minions shall try for three. A sign will be given. He will try and take the guns so that people can't rise up and stop him when he tries to run. He will not succeed for this uh, will be the people's rights. Uh, make no mistake, it will be a fight. Now, let me explain that. Uh, that was... October 13th, 2015 is when God uh, gave this to me. And at the time, right about eight months before he was to get out of office, he made another run for the guns at that point. That was right after I prophesied this. Uh, it, he was going to make a, uh, it was like maybe, what is that, that's in 15? So that would have been uh, 16. I think it was like right around March. Somebody can fact check me on that. Right March of, of 16 before the election. He was trying to make another run for the guns. And that was the warning that God was giving. Uh, now, he's saying in here that the Clintons, that their time has come to an end. They're both going to be uh, held accountable uh, for everything that they have done right there. That was uh, in October 13th, 2015, the very following month, almost to, uh, was it November 17th, 2015, I wrote, time is up for those who are corrupt. Um, let's see here. And, and he talked about uh, right here. The Spirit of God says, I am neutering this sitting president. I am neutering this sitting president in this hour so his evil and corrupt ideologies and theologies can no longer reproduce in this country I call my United States of America. For this man who holds the title called the president of the United States will begin to lose his grip from it and be stripped of it. For I, the Lord God, will rip it from him. The man who calls himself commander in chief is nothing more than a lying, deceitful thief. Now, let me, let me explain that one for a second because people have thought um uh, let me go back to the other one the other one said uh three terms and everyone thought well he you know mark you don't know your constitution he can't run for a you know, third term and i was like that's not what i think that means you know what i mean this is where we got to be mm -hmm. careful with the prophetic because we rehearse this movie in our head a lot of times with the prophetic words and we think it's going to come out a certain way that we've rehearsed in our head and then when it doesn't they think oh well it didn't come to pass or he's a false prophet or this is a false word whatever it is and usually it doesn't come to pass the way we think it's going to. And, you know, a lot of people were thinking, well, it was Hillary Clinton. Everybody was saying that Hillary Clinton's uh, presidency would be an Obama third term. Some people thought it was that. Well, we're finding out now that it wasn't that at all. His third term is because he's got a headquarters, what, two miles down from the White House, and he's running the show. Yes, he government. does. Yes, That's his does. third term that God was warning about right there. Uh, so getting to the time is up for all those corrupt. Uh, where he says, I'm going to rip and strip the presidency from him. Uh, there's only one way that I know legally that you can rip and strip the title of president uh, from an ex-president, and that was to be uh, to charge them with treason. And so people thought, well, he's not going to get ripped and stripped of it uh, while he's in office, or is he going to get ripped and stripped while he's in office? I said, I didn't, I didn't think that's what that meant. I said, there's going to come a time when he will be uh, out of office, he will be charged with treason, he will be arrested and he will go to prison. Now, I'm just going to leave this part right here. I'm not going to, uh, I want to be careful how I word this. There was a prophetic sign given. Now, what is the penalty for treason? We all know what the penalty is. That's but right. There was, Death. There, was, there was a prophetic sign given. Somebody can look this up, fact check it. Uh, it was maybe a year or two ago where the racehorse called Barack Obama was euthanized. I that remember a, that. That was a prophetic sign, folks. And people can say all they want to. Now, we may never know uh, that some of these people, look, these people like the Clintons, Comey, uh, Brennan, Clapper, all these guys, the death penalty is going to come to some of these people, probably a lot of these people, actually. And we may never know that they're executed because if they did, it would probably start a civil war if we're not careful. Mm -hmm. Their exit strategy may be like John McCain. He had cancer. That was probably his exit strategy at that point. And he had a military tribunal and he was probably executed, you know. Uh, so 
Is that going to happen with some of these others? Are, are they going to come down with a funky disease, COVID-19? Uh, some are saying that probably Joe Biden is going to come down with COVID-19 or something, and that'll be it. Uh, yeah, there it is. There and, it is. Uh, there it is right there. Euthanized. Now, notice it says euthanized. What does that word mean, euthanized? It means it was put down. It didn't die of natural causes. So, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, these people are going to get, get uh, executed. Some of these people are. And so, you know, I tell people, if you don't have a stomach for justice, you better get one now because uh, justice can get ugly sometimes. Yeah, that's right. So, so Mark, if, if and when that comes to pass, what does that do to the Supreme Court justices that he appointed? That was my other thing is that what does that do? And then, well, I didn't even realize this. Didn't realize, I've, I've said that a hundred times. What does that do to the two Supreme Court justices that he has appointed? But then I started thinking on a bigger level the other day, okay, what does that do to the federal judges he's appointed? Mm. I mean, Trump's That's already right. gotten 300 judges. <laughs> Could this be a reformation of the ju entire judicial system, which we need, by the way? And so uh, could it you know, get rid of the judges that he's appointed? I don't know. I don't know how far this thing's going to go. I really don't. Now, Mark, you speaking of the, of the justices, you initially had a prophecy – in your America, America, where mm -hmm. you said it would be three, right? And then you changed that. You you uh, you changed it, but I, I think you changed it because because you heard from God that He said, "Right, I, I'm changing it to five. Right. T right. Tell me about that. Yep. So the first time, the first one was we were going to have three, and then I was, when did I write that? Here, I'll give you the dates right here. Uh. Okay, so America, America was on uh, October 7th, 2015. And then the next one came about, Do Not Fear America, was uh, February 24th, 2016, where he said it was going to be five. So I'm out here one day, and after I wrote the first one with three, right? <laughs> and I'm out here mowing, because <laughs> I, I live on property. So I'm mowing about five acres at a time. And I got a lot of time to spend with the Lord. And the Lord just started downloading this to me. He says, no, and he says, now it's going to be five. And see, people think that God can't change his mind. Well, it's biblical. He can. You know, Moses stood before the Lord, and God was going to smite the Israelites, and he's going to start over with Moses. And Moses says, no, Lord, remember the covenant you have with your people. God changed his mind. Boom. Yeah. And so he went into, uh, he sent a uh, uh, prophet into, uh, to uh, King Hezekiah, and he said, hey, you got 15 years to live, or 15 days to live. And he left. And the king turned his face to the wall and said, Lord, remember the good things that I've, that I've done. He told the prophet, go back in there and tell him he's got 15 more years. God changed his mind. He gave, what happened? He gave time for repentance. Mm -hmm. And I believe what the Lord was showing me with these, there was two Supreme Court justices, I believe, that still had a grace period from the first prophecy until the second one I gave for a time of repentance. And it didn't mm -hmm. happen. And that's when the Lord came back and said, no, now it's going to be five. And depending how things work, We'll find out. Uh, I mean, there actually could be more. This, this is probably one time that uh, I hope I was wrong and we get more, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's not going to bother me if I got this one wrong and we end up with more. So it depends on how this works out. You know, uh, again, the whole Obama thing, does that negate two of them? Because he said, because he told me out of the five, he said, one's going to die. And that was probably three months before Scalia died. And he said, one's going to retire and three would be caught in a scandal. Now, here, here we go again with be careful with the prophetic words. Because how we think things are going to come to pass in our head may not be how it comes to pass in reality. Uh, the three that are caught in a scandal. Can you imagine? You see what a fight we've had with Amy Coney Barrett, just getting her on the mm -hmm. court. Uh, or Kavanaugh. I mean, that was, that was really the bad one. Uh, but, I mean, can you imagine removing three Supreme Court justices in a scandal all at one shot? Right. That, that would start a civil war in this country. So, we may never know what the scandal is. Their exit strategy may be they get sick or say, hey, I'm retiring, and we just never know what that is. And so three of them just may go, and then we find out maybe 10 years down the line or five years down the line, hey, that was actually a scandal that these guys had to leave over. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. we just have to be careful with that. So that's, that's what happened with that one. And you, you can't get to five justices for Trump if he doesn't get in for a second term. That's right. That's yeah. right. So he has, to get in for, he has to get into a second term, in order to get those five. So there's more proof that he's going to have a second term. Mark, let's, uh, 
let's jump to the news that because this is going to be a crazy two weeks. Um, yeah, I just want to yeah. open it up to your thoughts. Uh, again, we're recording this on October 21st. The Hunter Biden scandal, which we should call the Joe Biden scandal, right? The, the Biden crime family. We've got the debate tomorrow night, the last debate, if it happens. Uh, if it happens. Mark, I'm going to open it up to you. What, what do you see with, with the current news this week? What do you see happening in the next two weeks? Uh, go ahead, take it from there. Well, I think it's just going to be, uh, this, look, we're coming up to the crescendo of this fight right now. Uh, you know, November 3rd is, is going to be probably the, the, the tip top of this fight uh, is getting uh, the votes in and announcing he's president. When they announce he's president, Katie, bar the door, look out. All you know what's going to break loose probably. We all know that. Um, I have been getting some reports that there's people stuffed in five-star hotels all over the country. Uh, hmm. there's, there's flyers going out. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Uh, that um, Who was that? I think uh, James Woods actually shared that uh, earlier. I don't have it on here. But they were saying that basically they're telling people to get their um, uh, flyers that were going out for people, saying to get your homeowner's insurance uh oh, together. yes I, I did see that you did see that okay yeah and yeah. so uh you know we, we you're on the we know you're a trump supporter we have you on our list and not da, da, da. and so there's going to be some trouble across the country you know i'm not i'm not gonna i've, I've been telling people that you may want to have a couple of weeks worth of food stocked up you know they're probably going to try and run the covid thing a second time i think chicago is already having a food shortage already there's they were talking about because the whole covid thing whole COVID scare and but you know for the main thing is does he declare the insurrection act or does he and and or martial law in some parts of the country I don't know I just know that he probably will deploy the military to get the streets under control and this, it'll happen probably pretty quickly mm -hmm. um I will say this uh it's going to be a fight till we get there but I think this holiday season is probably going to be one of the greatest holiday seasons we've, we've probably had in a long long time because there's <laughs> going to be a lot to be thankful for there's going to be a lot to be grateful for because we have, we have accomplished a lot at that point in time, because I don't think he's going to let this go through through the holidays as far as not getting control of the streets. That's great. Do, do you think we know the results of the election on election night, or do you think this stretches on for days or weeks? I'm praying it comes out election night. I'm hoping it comes out election night. I think we will. I mean, you know, anything's possible right now, guys, you know, the battlefield is, is, is fluid. It's constantly changing. So we just need to to adapt to what's happening. Um, I, I'll just be praying that we get the news that night so that we know for sure. I'm sure that uh, um, there's going to be those that uh, are going to say that Biden won. And, and maybe by Biden dropping out of the uh, race, they can't say that now. There's mm -hmm. no way they can say that now. So that would yeah. kind of alleviate that whole theory right there. Because they can't concede. Yeah. There's nobody to concede. There's, there's nobody to <laughs> put up a fight. You know what I mean? It's over. The second yeah. he if he drops out to me that that's the race is over. It's going to be historic no matter what happens. Yeah. So we've got Hunter Biden. We've got the laptop. The laptop has been verified by right. by the FBI as being authentic. It's as not being what a bogus story. Russian disinformation. Right. You know, Mark. These people have no creativity. None. They just go back to the same story every time, and it's almost embarrassing. Well, they're repeating history over and over and over again. You know what I mean? The, the, the whole Marxist socialism, I mean, it's all going back to Nazi Germany. You know what I mean? It's like they're, they're uh, even the big tech tactics. You know what I mean? It's like uh, PayPal, what they're doing to me. Uh, I don't know if you heard me talking about PayPal. You know, if, if, uh, if you're using PayPal and you give someone a donation, whatever you do, guys, don't put my name in the comments. I say that in all seriousness because I have people I do interviews with that do take donations because this is their living and uh, they use PayPal and they'll say, Hey, uh, I appreciate everything you and Mark Taylor are doing in the comments. Boom. That's it. PayPal puts a 30 day hold on it and the money's never seen. Mm -hmm. And then I've had PayPal come behind me and call people I've done interviews with asking personal questions about me. Mm. That's wow. Gestapo tactics. That is that's that should never be allowed. No. Mark, do you do you have has has the Lord told you anything? Do you have do you have anything on on where we're going with this big tech censorship? Because it's out of control. It's Facebook. It's Twitter. It's obviously it's YouTube all of it. and PayPal. Yeah, uh, yeah it, are we it's are all we going to get this back under control, Mark? Or is, has, yeah, has this ship I, I think we will. No, okay. I, I think we'll get it under control at some point. I, you know, I've been screaming this from the rooftops uh, for the last six months. I said there's two things 
that uh, they've got to do before the election. One, they've got to get control of the, the electoral voter fraud. And two, they got to get control of the censorship because you can't sit here screaming for people to get the truth out when they're being censored like crazy. You know, you, at, at what point do you unlock the censorship? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you really want to red pill people, you've got to unlock the censorship. Now, Ted Cruz and, uh, was supposed to subpoena Zuckerberg and uh, Jack for Twitter, Dorsey, and mm-hmm. uh, was supposed to be this Friday, and then that got canceled. I'm like, why are you subpoenaing these guys a week ahead of time before the election? What good is that? You, you guys are barking all the time, but you got no teeth. Yeah, and it, it's right. like you're wasting your time here. You know, what is the you, this should have been done months ago, man. And now yeah. you're worried about the, because of the, of the New York Post or Times or whatever it was story about Biden. You know what I mean? We still have a major media outlet, the New York Post that I think yeah. to this day is, is still locked out of Twitter. I mean, I, I don't understand how that right. is legal. Yeah, I, I don't either. And again, you know, this is something that Congress should have dealt with months ago. Uh, you know, Trump's been screaming repeal 230, uh, section 230 for how long now? And mm-hmm. uh, they, they should have done that. And it's like, I, I, I was going to tweet it out. I haven't done it yet. It's like, you know, you guys want to sit here in this dog and pony show and how long they're just going to sit up there and lie and deny if, if they do bring them a subpoena them before Congress. Right. And uh, you know, or plead to fifth, and uh, nothing's going to happen as usual. You know, it's like repeal Section Two Thirty already, and let the lawsuits fly. Now you're not going to get right. any money out of these lawsuits. Well, they're simply just going to be either bankrupt these guys or to set precedents that they can't do this anymore. It, it has to happen. We can. It has to happen. We cannot continue on this way. Right. Mark, let me add, let's let's go to a different topic. I, this is something mm-hmm. I've been fascinated by. I don't know if you have any thoughts on this. If you if you had any words from the Lord back when this happened, but you remember uh, at Bush Senior's funeral, there were all those envelopes yep. passed out, and I don't know that we've ever heard what was in those envelopes. It was very right. clear that there was something in there that all of these people got. They had an instant reaction. I think. Uh, Jeb's face turned almost white when he saw yeah. his, which which makes you think it had to have been either one or two words or a picture or something that they could immediately recognize. Do you have any thoughts on what was in those envelopes? And are we going to ever see the answer to that? I don't. Uh, I think when justice comes out, we'll find out exactly what was in those envelopes, probably, uh, because we'll see who was arrested and who wasn't. Yeah. uh you know who went down now what was in those envelopes i have no clue i really don't uh i just know that it was a uh whatever it was was pretty horrifying to some your thoughts on mike pence is he a white hat is he trustable everybody always asks me that and i you know <laughs> i don't know honestly uh i really don't like god hasn't shown me anything on that so i kind of stay neutral with mike uh, i just you know i pray he's a good guy uh you know i really don't know uh honestly um so i until God shows me anything, yeah. I really, you know, I can't say anything negative about him. Uh, that's where I come out to. I, I don't know. I've, I don't I think know. We've all heard certain rumors. Uh, we yeah. don't know if they're true or not. He, you yeah. know, some, some disturbing stories out of Indiana, but, but we don't know. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> uh, what about, what about this? This is a fun one. Uh, this is another, I don't know if this was a written prophecy you had, Mark, or if this was just something you, you posted, but, uh, you at one point, uh, had talked about a junior, junior ticket. Yeah. You remember yep. that? Yep. I sure do. Uh, the and, Lord and, gave and me a dream. Yep. There's a, there's a lot there, and, and we're not saying it's JFK junior. There's a lot of talk no. about that, but, no. but, um, yeah, tell us about that. About, uh, I think it was, uh, probably Greg Hunter's show. I think it was, I had told went public for the first time that God had gave me a dream. I saw Don jr. And then I didn't see JFK Jr., but I just knew it was him. Uh, and I, you know, I, people want to say, oh, he's alive, this, that, and the other. I don't know if, if JFK Jr. is alive. I don't know if he's dead. I don't, God has not shown me anything. I think what God was trying to do was put an emphasis on the junior part of it. Uh, could it be a junior, junior ticket? Yes, it could be. Uh, but here again, you got to be careful with the prophetic here. So, uh, you know, but it was like, I went public with that and it was like, um, 48 hours later, Don Jr. said he was thinking about running for public office. Now, could it be that he saw at some point that Jr. runs for president? It could be. You know, uh, could it be a junior, junior ticket? Yes, it could be. It could be a junior that we don't know is even on the scene yet. So this is where we got to be careful right now. Well, and, and you had another one that, that and I, I believe this is the direct quote. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but you said Donald will not be the only Trump in the White House. 
Correct. There will be another Trump in the White House. There's an, there's another Trump coming. So this is not <laughs> going to be the only Trump in the White House. This this could end up being a dynasty. You know, who knows? So I, I, I think you've been very clear. You don't know which one that is. But, I don't uh, know which one that is. Uh, you know, look, Ivanka could be the first woman president. It's maybe why she's in the White House and why she's being prepped. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> don't listen don't attack a messenger okay you know because it's like people want to attack oh i don't agree with this person being there or that person you know everybody's got their own opinions it's like look you don't understand your argument's not with me your argument's with him the boss the boss <laughs> i think i think that's what what trump called him the other day the boss yep, the boss <laughs> what what about mark what about you know all all of this stuff is is tied together it's all tied together and it's all coming out together the U.S. debt is, is I think, a big component of this. Has the Lord shown you anything about wiping out the U.S. debt or, or how or when that comes about? Because we are printing money at a rate that just cannot be sustained. It's, it, it, if you have dollars in your pocket, they are becoming worth less than they were the day before. Right. Do you have any comments about the U.S. debt and how, how we defeat that beast? You know, I, I, I don't know. There, there's many theories. I mean, again, the Nassara Jassara thing. I mean, he takes the Fed down. We back the dollar by gold. Uh, there's all these things that people are talking about. Uh, you know, the one prophecy that I did give uh, in the commander chief prophecy, the original one was that the dollar would be, uh, would be the currency, the one currency that all others are judged by. Uh, it'll mm-hmm. be the strongest that it's ever been. So how do you do that? You know, in this day and point, well, it would be just that you take the Fed down, you back the dollar by gold. And again, uh, you know, it'd be the strongest it's ever been. Uh, you know, I, I just heard a report today. I was listening to someone talking about that very thing just today. So it's funny you bring that up. Mm-hmm. Well, Mark, when I, when I, uh, I told my audience that, that I was going to be interviewing you and I had hundreds of questions flood in. I asked everybody what they would ask you if they had the chance. And, uh, we had, well, a, I can't, I can't claim to have all the answers, brother, but I'll, I'll do the, I'll do my best. You know, I don't have all the answers. I'll do my best. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I, I've picked four that that I thought were great ones, and uh, so okay. I want to run them by you. Sure. Uh, Sue from Sue from Quakertown, PA, the battleground state of Pennsylvania. Sue says, "Ask Mark if he felt any encouragement or improvement in the spiritual realm, as so many of us have been committed to repentance, prayer, and fasting." Mm, good question. Uh, you know, let me. It's, this is that would be kind of a lengthy answer, so I'll try to keep it short. Uh, the most important thing that we can do as a people is target focused prayer and target focused repentance. And this is where I've been pretty hard on the church system because they haven't done any of the above. Um, the church system, I believe is going down. It's under judgment and it's been the army of God, the remnant, if you will, that has been doing most of the, the target focused prayer and repentance. And so, yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, um, has there been a shift? Absolutely. This, think of it this way. If we have not done, if we hadn't have done what we've done as far as the repentance goes, Hillary Clinton would have been in office and this whole thing would have been over with by now. We'd have been in World War III. We'd have been in a nuclear exchange. They'd have been living in underground dumps or their bunkers, whatever it is. And this whole thing would have been over with. But it's because of the people of the target focused prayers and repentance that there has been a shift, that Donald Trump came into office. God put him in there for a reason. I can't stand it when people sit there and say, America's under judgment. No, it's not, folks. If there, if it was, Hillary Clinton would have been in there, and this whole thing would have been over with. Why did, Donald, did God put Donald Trump in office? Because there's something great that God wants to do on the earth, and that is all about the end-time harvest. It's about a harvest of souls right now. And so, yes, that repentance has made a shift. The proof of that on the earth was the fact that Trump got an office in 16. And look what's happening right now. We're hitting the truth phase, which is going to ultimately usher in the justice phase, which we are moving into right now as we speak. Mark, did you see on Sunday, Trump went to that church in Las Vegas? You you see any clips? Yeah, 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 I saw clips. Yeah. What, What are your thoughts? Uh, I want to be careful what I say here. I just, um, you know, I'm seeing a pattern with some of this stuff where he goes to these churches um, and some of these people that are prophesying and this, that, and the other. Um, you just have to be careful. Just be careful who you follow. You know what I mean? Again, a lot of these mega churches are 501c3s. That's been a huge message of mine. The 501c3s under judgment. Uh, you know, they, they took a bribe. 
uh, for 30 pieces of silver to keep their mouth shut on abortion and political issues. And, you know, that's the very place they need to be speaking out on this stuff right now. And they're not doing their job, which is, again, again why it's under judgment. So you've got people out there that uh, are part of uh, the President Spiritual Advisory Board that I've been very hard on that want to be there for the prestige of it. Uh, you know, they just say, hey, I just, for the fact that, it's, hey, I'm on the President Spiritual Advisory Board, it's like, look, if you are a part of this President Spiritual Advisory Board, you shouldn't be broadcasting it. What's mm -hmm. said between you and the president should stay between you, the president, and the Lord himself. Uh, you know, um, I'm just, you know, the, the, sorry, but the Paula Whites and these people, the, the mega churches, I just, uh, uh, sorry. Yep, yep, understand. Be careful who you to, follow. Right, right. Let me go to my next one here. This is from Carol uh, from Beaufort, South Carolina. Ask Mark if he's, we already talked about this, but I, I want to hit it one more time. Uh, ask mm -hmm. Mark if he sees any consequences for the cabal members that are trying to destroy our country. Absolutely, yes. You're going to see, just like he said, or they said, <laughs> there's going to be, a, uh, yep, there's going to be suicides. <laughs> there's going to be, uh, you know, executions. Um, there, there's, there's, I mean, all kinds of stuff, guys. So you just, again, if you don't have a stomach for justice, you better get it quick because it can get, it can get nasty. And just listen, just nothing's going to stop the justice that God has ordained on this earth. This is not our apocalypse. It's their apocalypse right now. This is not about Democrat versus Republican. This is about good versus evil is what this is about right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. All right, Mark, you, you're on record saying Trump will win a second term. Martha from Ringgold, Georgia uh, says, do the Republicans win the House and Senate this time around? prophesying this this is my opinion i would say that we win both um but uh because i mean again uh you're, you're seeing stuff at this point um that we've never seen before in history we're seeing lines i mean even where i live in the middle of nowhere i'm seeing lines down the block right now and so Me i too. think yeah, yeah I, I think the voting is going to be probably historic at this point because again look what's happened we, we haven't told people to go out and just vote they've been having to live this out They've been living it out through COVID. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of good things that come out of this whole COVID lockdown thing. I've been saying this from day one. Uh, you know, people want to look at the negative. No, there's a lot of good that's going to come out of this. And this is one of them. People have been locked down. They've been able to see the truth. They've been able to experience and live it out. And so, therefore, they're tired of it. They want someone who's going to get them out of this mess. And Trump is the one to do it. And, there, and here's the other thing with COVID. If you've noticed in prior elections, prior years, the federal election or that this at the federal level is always the most important what has covid done now at the state and local levels it has brought the state and local levels to the forefront as far as the electoral process goes because what you have even though your state may be open you got these little select isolated pockets of city councils or county council members that are still in lockdown and people are seeing it and they're living it out and they're tired of it and they're going to vote mm -hmm. these people out so that's that those are some of the good things that are going to come out of this COVID. Yeah, that's good. You know, Mark, I, I think Trump has has been incredibly disciplined and restrained in his first term. I think he had to be in some regards. Yep. I, I think yep. his hands were tied in other regards. But yep. I think we're going to see something that we've oh, yeah. the likes of which we've never seen if he wins the second term. And especially if he has Congress behind him. I, I don't think K Katie or I have seen it. Uh -uh, we haven't seen anything yet. Katie barred the door when he gets in office again on November, the morning of November 4th. You better, I tell <laughs> don't put your, don't put your seatbelt on, put your racing harness on. Cause I'm just telling you, this, this thing's going to fly, man. Yep. I think you're right. Last question from Janice from Miriam, Kansas. And we, we were just talking about this a minute ago. Resurgence of COVID? Question mark. Your thoughts? Do, you, do we see a big second wave of this thing, or is or does I think they're going to try. I think they're going to try, but probably it'll be all be over with November fourth. Yep. You, you know what I mean? I think they're going to try, uh, but I think it'll all mostly be over with November fourth because nobody's going to buy into this mess after November fourth. Because look, if the streets do get hot, which we're expecting them to get hot, you know what I mean? Uh, you know he he has to send the military in to uh, clean it up, then. Uh, you know, it's, it'll all be over with. Yep. Mark, I, I want to switch, talk a couple uh, news stories. But before we do that, 
you know, one of the things I love about Republicans and the deplorables is uh, we've, we've got the creativity. We've got the, we add things to uh, society. We add things to the economy. We're building, we're creating. Uh, you're, you've created something. I want to talk about that for a minute. If, if you're up for it, you've, sure. you've invented something. Tell me about, you're a firefighter and, and you've created a device. Tell us about that. It's called the SWORD, S-O-R-D, Special Operations Recovery Drag, and it's made for pulling down victims out of a hot zone. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're military, fire service, law enforcement. Uh, I've got civilians using it in their homes. Uh, if they have a loved one, a senior citizen living in their home and they fall, uh, it helps to pick them up because you can hurt people, uh, especially the elderly, picking them up, putting them back to bed or in a chair. Uh, I designed it for that. Uh, it's, it's, there's no belts, buckles, snaps, or straps. I mean, it just, it's made for, designed to go in and pull people out in seconds to get them out of that hot zone until you can get them to an area where you can stabilize them. I've even got my vet is even using some. They use some for, uh, I've used it for actually carrying animals, uh, injured animals or, you know, sick animals. If, if someone wants it, where do they go to see more details uh, about it? They would go to sword, S-O-R-D dot U-S, sword dot U-S. And your website, separate from that, is Sword Rescue S O R D Rescue dot com. You can go there to see yep. Mark's website, his Twitter account, his. You can find his book. Uh, anything else on there, Mark? You can yeah, all just the all, the, all the prophecies are there for people to print off for free. Um, I don't charge anything for that stuff, so uh, you can print them off for free. I tell people, look, go there and print them off for free, and lay them out. It's, it's like a blueprint. It's showing you where we were coming from and where we're going. Now, here's the thing. Everybody always wants the details. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, this is where we're going. God does not give us all the details, guys. If he did, we wouldn't need faith. And this is where the character and integrity building process and the faith building process is coming in right now. This is, this is, where, uh, this is where I was talking about earlier. This is the great awakening, but it's also the great separating. Because what we're seeing here is a separating from the wheat from the chaff right now. What we're seeing is a separating from the false from the true. Uh, and this is why I was saying a little while ago with these churches, be careful who you follow because God's revealing the prophets of Baal. It was probably three years ago now that the Lord told me that the spirit of Elijah and the prophets of Baal were going to have another clash. It was coming. And then probably about a year ago, he said it has begun. And so what you're seeing is the true prophetic come out uh, and it's revealing the false. It's revealing the false prophets. It's revealing the false pastors, the false teachers, the false evangelists, uh, all of these different things. And a lot of them, unfortunately, are caught up in the bail system called the 501c3. So, yep, absolutely. Uh, Mark, what, let's let's wrap up if you want. Uh, you had a couple of news articles that that are breaking just as we're talking right now. Uh, can we cover those quick before we yep, wrap up? Absolutely. And just to let everyone know, they are dropping as we speak right now. So you want to check that uh, at the end of this. Uh, so we, China, China is the big thing, right? I said like a year and a half or two, maybe a year and a half, maybe two years now on another show. I had prophesied on that show. I said, because that was a whole Russian thing was the, the blowing up. Right. And, and I said, look, Russia is not the enemy. I said, China is the true enemy. And I said, there's something coming for China that's going to put them in their place. I said, it could be tariffs. It could be a trade war. It could be any of that. Now here again, we got to be careful with the, with the prophetic, because even me, it's, God will even, you know, veil my eyes where I don't see exactly what something is sometimes because it's not time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I said that and uh, I said it could all be all the above. Well, I thought maybe it was the COVID thing. You know what I mean? It, because you got the entire world coming down on China right now. Why? Because China is trying to dominate the entire world, but especially the United States. The United States is the last stronghold for freedom of the oppressed people of the earth right now, especially the spiritually oppressed people of the earth right now. And the CCP is one of the worst for uh, suppressing spiritual, spiritual uh, Christianity. Yes, it is. And the, the, I'm, a, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, so China is trying to take over. They've been infiltrating here for years. We know the Bidens. We know Dianne Feinstein. We know all these people are, are in bed with China. And now this is breaking from John Solomon here. This article comes out. U.S. colleges and universities failed to disclose billions in foreign gifts the Trump administration finds. Uh, Education Department probe finds schools since 2014 receiving nearly 1.5 billion in gifts contracts from China, and then it goes on to talk about how the uh, colleges and, and universities failed to disclose at least 6.5 billion in foreign gifts and contracts. Now they're supposed to report anything uh, uh, above a quarter of a million, and they did an investigation on 12 universities, 
And let's see here, right here, 1.5 billion from China, more than 3 billion from Qatar, and 1.1 billion from Saudi Arabia. And Harvard University reported receiving nearly 116 million from China. That's wow. what China is doing right now, guys. Uh, th this is this is how they're trying to infiltrate. One more thing on China. Uh, Sarab Almari was on Tucker, I guess, this morning, if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, he said Facebook's censorship team hires at least six Chinese nationals. He said, that's right. Chinese mm -hmm. computer scientists help Facebook engineer your news feed and keep out the bad stuff like post reporting on Hunter. <laughs> They've infiltrated our, uh, uh, our, our, you know, if you want to really mess up a kid, send them to college right now, because what yeah. you're doing is you're paying tens of thousands of dollars. You're paying basically a mortgage to have a college indoctrinate and brainwash and mind control your child is what you're doing right now at this point. It's not even safe to send a kid to college right now because they have infiltrated everything. This is why we're seeing so many of these people on the street right now with the socialism and the Marxism, all, all these different things on the street uh, rioting like this. They've been indoctrinated. They've been mind controlled. And, and you know, there's a huge mind control thing behind that. I, I know we don't have time to go into, but uh, I mean, I, and I got one more here with Pope Francis came out today. Uh, he says, Pope Francis endorses same-sex civil unions, saying homosexuals are children of God and have the right to be in a family. Well, I've already talked to some Catholics today, boy, and they ain't real happy, I can tell you that. Uh, I mean, they're, they're wanting this pope gone. I mean, so this pope is not popular with the Catholics right now. So, uh, you know, be careful who you follow, guys. You know what I mean? It's um, this, this, this is coming down to the wire right here. You know, we're all getting attacked. We're all getting attacked on different fronts. Uh, you know, this is this is our spiritual Normandy right now. And that's what people have to understand this. You know, I, I wrote you can go to my website, uh, swordrescue.com and print off the uh, the uh, speech, the um, Army of God speech and print that off for free and hang it up, guys, hang it up in your house or put it around your house. And when things look dark to you, uh, God had me take General Eisenhower's speech and he said, I want you to rewrite that speech. And he says, mm -hmm. I want you to address it to my army. So, OK, Lord. So I did that, and I, I put that all aside. Didn't know what it was for. That was in 2011, guys, or 2000, 2011, 2012, or somewhere around in there. And I never quite knew what it was for until now. And mm -hmm. because it's, it's a whole World War II component to this thing I can go into, maybe if I come on again, I can get into all that. But, I mean, it, it's, um, it's for now. Because this is our – we are hitting the beaches spiritually right now. And that's what that – speech was designed for was for his army is to encourage you and to show you because it you know just read it he talks about the victory is ours and so uh we know how this is going to end i want people to be encouraged i want people to no matter how dark it looks you know when the when the if the fighting breaks out on the street you know military has to come in and, and deal with things break that speech out read it to your family uh, read it out loud whatever it is it will encourage you and to know that the victory is already ours we've already won this they're just in their death roll is all it is right now they've been caught they're in the death <laughs> roll that's a great place to end it mark uh links to to that speech and to your website with all of the prophecies will be below this video you can find this video online uh it'll probably be up on youtube we'll see uh, it'll definitely be up on BitChute and Rumble. Look for look for us over there. Um, we'll have it up over there. You can go to you can read all of Mark's prophecies for free. He's got the book on Amazon, but but the prophecies are all given for free. These the, the book has some extra stuff in there, some more behind the scenes uh, things and ex expansions and so forth. But but everything is up there for free. Mark, thank you for your time. You're a busy man. It's we're in the home stretch. We have yep. 13 days to go. Thank you for taking time to come and talk with us. Before we wrap it up, would you uh, like to uh, head us out with a prayer? Absolutely, man. And thank you for having me on, brother. It was a pleasure being on here with uh, you and your uh, your following. So I appreciate everything that you guys are doing and the truth that you're standing up for. So thank you. Th thank you. It's It's been great to have you. Yep. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just bless everyone under the sound of my voice right now, Lord. Father, we just ask that you would just open the eyes and ears, the spiritual eyes and ears of the people to see what you are doing on this earth right now, Father, that you are doing something great right now. Father, we just decree and declare a harvest of souls to come into your kingdom right now, Father. And Father, we just decree and declare time is up for those who are corrupt. 
We pray that we have blessings upon our president. We cover him and his family in the blood of Jesus, Lord. We ask that you would release your protecting angels to surround him. And we decree and declare they stand shoulder to shoulder so no evil could penetrate from any dimension above or below. And Father, I just bless those right now who may be sick. Father, who may, uh, may, who, who may even be thinking right now, Father, that they don't have any place in the kingdom or they think they have no place in the kingdom because they're sick or they're bedridden. Father, I ask that you would visit them right now in the night season. Holy Spirit, you would descend upon them and show them and move them into the destiny they have because every person counts in this fight, Father. And we decree and declare they would find their place where they belong in this fight right now, Father. They can fight right there where they're at, even if they're in bed right now, Father. They can do spiritual warfare or prayer right there where they're at. We ask you to bless them and bring complete and total healing to those who are sick. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Mark. We'll have you back on soon. Uh, thank you for having me, brother. It's an honor to be here.